what is happening? What's going on? Today is Happy Friday. Happy Friday, everyone. Happy Friday. Temperature, outside temperature is 85 degrees Fahrenheit. And we're just going for a little stroll. Show you the, my town a little bit where I live and stuff. Finished washing my truck. Took me about two hours. If you ever try to remove that uh, the tree sap, man, it's a pain in the neck. I was able to remove all of it and then I washed my truck. Had a bite to eat. For lunch I had a um, Philly, Philly steak sandwich. You ever had one of those? Those are pretty good, so. Uh, then I had some uh, apple juice. Cold, nice cold apple juice. And I was just laying there thinking, what am I gonna do today? So I said, nah, maybe I'll just take a little drive hot today. I don't even know what, what is the speed at around here? 45? Oh, I feel fool so this is my hometown. Not much happening. Been a lot of fires out here. Probably not as many as California. California has like a record fire going on. And they had a flood that's going on in Kentucky. Speed limit there says 35. Can you see it? 35 miles. Slow down. The other day they had a cop right here. Some of these people drive like 50, 60 miles, you know. I never see them get caught. And then when they have the patrol there, Everybody's driving the speed limit. Figure that one out. So I'm gonna cut it and then I'll be right back. There's a lot of apartments over here. I think this is the. Uh, what part is this? This is the Highlands? Written? Is this written? Newcastle. Yeah, that's right, Newcastle. Forgetting where I'm at. So it's a nice drive. I mean, you know, I was looking at the motorhomes. Man, I wish I had a motorhome. You can just start it up and go as you please. You know, you don't have to worry about hooking up. Yeah, so I was looking at them, the motorhomes. And they're kind of pricey, so eventually they're gonna come down in price, and they're gonna be more affordable. So I don't know if you can see it, but there was a house here a while back. I wanted to buy it, but this is when you could actually buy property. You can't buy everything so expensive right now. You can't anything well you can buy you can buy whatever you want to buy if you have the money but where was it at oh I think we passed it it was right there in that corner well actually no it's is this house right here see that house see right there ah you can't see it but anyways you can't see the house but that house was going for two hundred and seven thousand dollars this was about five years ago. And I bet it's probably like three times that amount today. Usually for home, first time buyers or people that have cash, you know, oh, cash, if you have cash, you can buy pretty much anything. Why didn't I buy it? Well, one thing, I didn't have cash. 
and the second is I didn't qualify for that amount so that's why I didn't buy it but that's another story I said that would have been a good buy because you know you would have bought that house right now it would have been worth about seven hundred thousand. I'm thinking that house is probably worth about seven hundred thousand dollars. Cause you live in the high, you know, you live in the mountains. A lot of stuff houses are very, a lot of money up here. But I would have sold it, and I would have kept the difference. You know, I would have kept the cash in my pocket. You know how we always think those things. Damn, I should have done this. Should have done that. How come I didn't do this? How come I didn't do that? I think everybody does that. I think it's the same. You don't have no money, you can't buy it. But I really liked it, that house. So we're just going for a drive. I'll show you my, my hometown. See if you can see that. I don't know if you can see that, probably because you have the thing up in there. But towards the right there, we're gonna make a left turn. Last year it was flooded. See all that field right there? All that was flooded. I think I took a video last year. All that had water on it, so you couldn't. No, it was just flooded. Period. So. We had all that rain. I mean, it rains a lot in Washington. It probably rains more than anything. You get more rain here than sunshine, I guarantee you that. Probably get about, uh, well, there's 364 days in a year. So you probably get about like eight, nine months of rain here. In Washington, you get about two months, I would say about two months of some good sunshine and then one month of uh, you know in between for those of you who love rain I don't like it anymore I mean when I first moved up here I thought it was good I thought it was cool but now it's You get, I don't know, you get tired. Ugh. Oh my god, I'm tired. Again? I need some coffee. That's what I need, some coffee. Who wants some coffee? I'll be right back. So, this road that we're on, I used to drive every day five six days a week for let's see when did i move 2016 17 18 19 20 is it 20 2021 so almost five years I drove five, six days a week. Traveled about 35 miles one way, 70 miles. How did I do it? I have no clue. Why did I do it? Same answer. I should have just stayed where I was at. Saved my money and bought something. I guess because I wanted a house and then I wanted, you know, room, you know, to put my stuff. So that was a bad decision. So this is the other way I used to go. But it's the same road, but it, it connects, you know. You have to, it's like a zigzag. The reason why I didn't go on the freeway is because there was traffic to get off I mean there's tra when you're in the city it's traffic all day pretty much but I used to get off about 8 o'clock
o'clock in the summertime, it's still hot, so. But man, I said, I can't believe that I actually did that for almost five years, every day, five, six days a week. I couldn't, I couldn't do it anymore, I said, that's it. But, so this is, anyway, this is the other side, it just goes all the way straight. Finish the video real quick, get another drive. This is it, heading home. The first, uh, I had the, uh, I had a Jeep Patriot first. I had a Jeep Patriot, almost paid off. Should have just paid that off. I bought a, a Nissan Frontier and then traded that one in. the other car I had? Oh, it was the, uh, it was the Toyota RAV4, that's what it was. And then someone hit me from behind and wrecked it, and it was, you know, demolished. So they paid it off, and then I ended up buying me a, a, a Ford Ranger the, when they first came out again, 2019. That's the one that you see in the videos, in the first videos. I should have kept that one, I didn't keep it. Traded it in for this one. But I was going to see if I had a video of my old Jeep Patriot. You know I do in, in uh, I think I have photos of it, but not the, not video. It was uh, what year was it? It was a 2013 Jeep Patriot, and it was a standard. I should have got an automatic. Why did you get a standard? I have no idea. I think because I went in. I think because back then I had bad credit. Try to you know, I went in there to fill the applications out, and then I got up and I left, and I said I don't think they're gonna approve me. So I'm driving home. I guess I was. Yeah, you know, I think I was driving home. Then I got a call saying, "Hey, why did you leave? You know, you got approved." And I'm like, "What?" But the interest was high, and I got approved, and that was the, that was the first car that I've ever bought under my name. Can you believe that? I was I was in my thirties then. And the payment was pretty good. I was paying like three something a month. I think it was paying what was it, three seventy two a month. But when I had moved to Auburn and all that driving and they put a lot of miles on my car. I think in one year I had drove like 70,000 miles in one year. Figure that one out. And that's probably why I traded all my cars because I put so many miles on them. And I felt like, you know, they the cars they make nowadays, I think they're, they're not as good as the cars back in the, 70s, 80s, or maybe the 60s, you know, could be longer than that, because I think back then they said that an engine would only, you'd have to trade in or something like that after 100,000 miles, and people would trade in their cars, and they realized that, you know, it was all like false advertising, so they got rid of their cars. And that's how you have, you know, people that have, uh, buy new cars today because all the old stuff's gone. It's like a cycle, you know, they scare you and then what do you do? You know, you go buy a new car. Anyway, so that's going to be the end of the video because I'm going to keep talking. I'm like the energized rabbit.
going and going and going. We will talk another day.